All right, so let's look at the um, wall floor schedule, which really means um, I should go in and maybe update this guy. So, um, so let's do that. I'm going to go in and update these guys. So I'm just going to go to these three here and right click and apply the um, 3D schematic view template. So it's going to show me the walls, floors, and roofs, and I'll do the same for the schematic. Right, apply view template, apply schematic. All right, and then I would go ahead and do it for these elevations and sections, but I'm going to leave them. So basically what we want to take a look at is how this is categorizing the floors um, and the materials. So you can see here, right here, the floor schedule is going through and um, let's double click on it and look at the fields. And basically what we have is type comments, level, and area, right? So the level and the area makes sense. They're looking at the um, floor schedule, right? So basically this is a categorization, categorization of the floors. So if I go to view, schedule, schedule, and quantity, and I scroll down and go to floors, right? I can highlight that and click OK, and I can grab the area the level, right, and the type comments. And we'll look at the type comments um, <clears throat> real quickly. And if I click on that, it's showing me the type comments. So what are the type comments? If I go back <clears throat> to my um, 3D view and I pick one of the floors, so I'm just going to pick a floor. If I go to edit type, down here is type comment. So for every one of those floors, it will put in the type comment whatever I place in here, and then I can schedule that. So that's basically what I did. Um, and so now I can go in and <clears throat> arrange this in the way that I have this floor schedule arranged, which is by level, right? So I did it by level again. So again, sorting and grouping, do it by level. We'll put a header, right, and click OK. So now it's doing that. I can now hide the level just like I did in the other one, right? And I can also um, do formatting and highlight the area and tell it to calculate totals and go to sorting and grouping and tell it to show the grand totals. And then I can do subtotals by footer and totals only. And maybe I put a blank line in between so we get a little bit of spacing, right? And so now basically what you're getting is, um, you know, dividing it up by level and then um, showing us the subtotals and what's on that level. You could also go back and you could divide it by type comments. So I could go to sorting and grouping and instead of by level, I could do it by type comment, right? And click OK. And now it's doing it by type comment, right? Um, and so you can just go through and adjust these however you want to. Um, the last thing we'll look at is this material. The wall schedule is very similar to the floor schedule. You can kind of figure that out. The wall material takeoff is a little different. It actually goes through and instead of looking at the system of the wall, it actually looks at the individual materials. So if we go to the view and the schedules, instead of doing a schedule quantity, you do a material takeoff, right? So if I double click on this guy, and we take a look at the fields, it's slightly different. We have type comments, material area, and cost, and wall cost, which is actually a calculated value, right? So, um, so we can go in and say, <clears throat> we go to view, we can go to schedules and do a material takeoff. And if we go to the walls, right, click OK, we can then come in and get the area. Actually, we want not the wall area, but the material area. So we'll come down here. There's actually a separate one that looks at all the material areas, right? And then uh, we'll get the material cost. And we can, we're going to actually um, get the material name, right? So I'll get the material name as well. Um, and then I'll click OK. And so basically you're seeing it's giving me the material name, the material cost, and the material area. If I go back to the fields, 
probably want to sort and group by material name, I think, and we'll make it a header and click OK. Right, so now we're sorting by material name. It's giving us the material cost. Um, and let's say that we knew that that material cost was by square foot, right? So if we wanted to calculate how much this was going to cost, we could actually go to our fields and add a calculated value. And I'll just call that wall, wall cost, right? And we can take the formula, so we want to take the material area, and we want to divide that by one square foot to make sure that the um, that we're dividing numbers into numbers because the area has a square foot in it. Um, and then we're going to take that and divide that by the material cost, right? And let's see if it'll give us, um, let's see for that, click OK, and then click OK. And now that guy will come in and calculate all that out. We can actually go to the formatting um, and grab the wall cost and maybe field format that. Um, and we can do it to two decimal places and put a dollar sign in front of it if we want to. There it is. Click OK. And maybe alignment to the right. And let's calculate totals. Right, and we'll calculate totals for the for that. And then if we go to sorting and grouping, we can tell it to do the grand totals, just like we did before. And also, um, we can do a footer with subtotals if we want to do that as well. Right, and then you're getting all the readout. And the place that this material cost actually lives is in the material itself. So if I go to you can actually change it in here. So if I change this to $25, right, it will update, but it actually lives in the material. So if we go to the concrete board forms in the manage tab and we go to material and go to concrete board formed and we go to the identity, there it is. So I could change it here, you know, to 30 and click OK and it will update it so it's bi-directionally connected. Um, so that's basically the schedules. All right.